Put your hand up if you've never tried to do an amp match before. Well, that was me a couple of weeks ago anyway, and I've got to tell you, this is going to blow you away. I can't believe how well it works. And they've made it even easier and faster in this new version. The first step is get your amp that you want to match, get a cool sound happening, get a mic on it. You've got to have your mic going into an interface. I'm using the UAD Apollo. It could be any interface, any microphone, any amp. You just need to be able to actually plug that mic in and record it. You're going to set up a channel on whatever kind of uh, recording program you want to use. I'm using PreSonus Studio One. So here is a track and I have the new BIOS amp version 2 set up. It pretty much guides you through every step of the way. You can either do it this way where I'm actually going to play plugged into the amp and just do it live. The other option is you could actually record a guitar track, turn it into a file and then use that to import into amp match, which is in a way even easier because you can refine that sound before you do it. Here we've got two choices. You can either record the sound from a microphone or if you've got some sort of modeling gear, then you could take the direct out. Now all I have to do in the next couple of steps, just make some guitar noise for a short amount of time. Here we go, start capture. Next thing you have to do is unplug from your amp. You can plug straight into your interface. This is going to send the signal straight into the plugin. Here's one of the coolest new features of the Amp Match version 2. All you have to do is choose from one of these eight amp types and it'll do the rest for you. That's all I have to do. And now I just bang away on the guitar again for another minute or so. So any new tones that you come up with in this process, then they become an actual preset that is stored inside the plugin. And if you have the head, it's in there and that's it. Your work's done. <laughs> works and it sounds incredible and then you've got this tone stored in the box and you can also get in there and then tweak that sound so if i wanted more gain which i always do There's only one thing left to do now and that's an AB test. So I'm going to record a bit of the amp and then we're going to compare the sound of that to the amp matched version in BIAS. Okay, I'm going to play something very similar to what I just recorded, but this time using the amp mesh version. I think is really great about amp match is that you're able to take an original core tone that you really dig and then you're able to mess with it you know you can edit it you can put another preamp stage in there you could put different tubes you could try a totally different power amp or preamp type i think that's what is really cool about amp match so i hope you guys get to try it soon thank you for listening and i'll see you next time